Hi and welcome to this video where I will be talking about how I painted my uh, US infantry and a bit about the uh, paints and materials and techniques that I used. So uh, let's go! So for this project I used the Warlord Games uh, US Infantry. Uh, this is a box containing uh, 30 minis. They are um, mid to late war. And I uh, basically uh, went for something similar to the box paint scheme um, I changed out some parts but uh, in general it's that one after assembling the mini I uh, of course added to the base and then I add all my basing material so for that I use uh, ordinary white glue and uh, sand and any stones and such that I want to add. And then I um, prime the mini. I use a brush on primer, in this case a grey primer from Green Stuff World. My preferred priming colour is grey because it gives me a good middle ground. After priming the mini, I um, paint the base. Painting the base before painting the mini, for me, gets me to a good tabletop result quicker, because I don't spend a lot of time working on tiny details that will not show up on the mini anyways. So... Um, yeah, that is the first part, um, priming and then painting the uh, base. For the paints that I use um, for bases, uh, I almost always go for Formula P3 umbral umber and a dry brush with the formula p3 bootstrap leather that is my um, go-to basing so when the base is finished um, I did all the blocking out of the major areas. So for instance I paint the base coat of the jacket, base coat of the um, pants, I paint the uh, boots and usually also the uh, helmet. But I only do the the base colors so for that this is my preferred size of brush so what you can see it's quite it's a flat stiff brush quite big uh, just to uh, speed things along basically and this is just a no name brand uh, I picked up at the local craft store, so it's not something really expensive. For the jacket, I used um, model color khaki, and 
for the pants I used uh, I think this also is model color uh, it's uh, flat earth and for the boots I used um, the formula P3 umbral umber that we used on the base and on the helmet I used uh, the model color camo olive green so after blocking out all the um, major parts I uh, use the liquid gold that is uh, Agrax Earthshade I used that mainly on the pants and on the helmet and then on the jacket I it depended a bit on on uh, I tried to make the um, the minis a bit different so either I used uh, Army Painters Military Shader or Army Painters Green Tone they do look a bit different so it gives you two different shades of 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 green and then on the boots because the boots are supposed to have this reddish hue on them um, I used the uh, Rakeland flesh shade from Citadel So now we have done the base coat and the um, washes on all the major parts and then I go back and do all the highlights so for the jacket I used either the khaki paint or uh, if I wanted to add a bit of different color, I used uh, the uh, uh, model color green gray just to mix up the uh, uh, how the jacket looks on the different minis. Um, I think on one or two of them, I went all the way up to. Uh, formula P3 Hammerfall Khaki. Doing the highlights, I used uh, Oops, Army Painters uh, Wargamer Regiment. So, quite a big brush. Um, and this is the smallest size of brush I used on these minis actually so you don't need to go to really tiny brushes to get a decent result so that was all the highlights on uh, everything uh, no that was just on the highlights on the jacket the highlight so on the pants I used uh, one layer of just ordinary flat earth and on the helmet I used uh, the uh, camo olive green so basically I just do one layer more of the base color uh, except for on the jacket where I mixed it up a little bit So, for the webbing, I used um, green gray, also base color with a wash, and then the base color again as a highlight. Or I think I went up to Hammerfall Khaki 
uh, on some of the minis. The weapon is uh, basically bootstrap leather and dark gunmetal with a uh, Agrax Earthshade wash and then a bit of highlighting again with bootstrap leather. The skin tone is Formula P3 uh, Midland Flesh with Rakesland Earthshade and then as usual just one layer of Midland Flesh as a highlight. And that is basically it. Uh, so it's one base coat wash and the base coat again as a highlight. And the result is something like this. Which is... Uh, A good tabletop standard, I would say. It's not uh, it's not perfect by any means, uh, but it it does the trick on the battlefield. And next up, we are going to talk about uh, adding details on the base. So finishing off the base, uh, I added uh, Static Cross, I have no idea what brand this is, it could be uh, Woodland Scenics, could be uh, Nock, could be something else. Um, I do prefer um, the 2mm to 4mm length, so quite short cross, uh, I don't use a... Um, a static cross applicator either uh, even though I have one um, I use that mainly for making my own uh, tufts um, yeah so one layer of uh, static cross and then speaking about tufts I added army painter lowland shrubs on some of the minis and army painter meadow flowers on some others. That's about it. Let's do a quick overview of the minis also. So here we have the group shot. I have done some minis just with pretty plain bases and some with static grass and flowers and then everything in between those two um, I just feel like it gives the minis a bit more dynamic look and feel I will leave a list of all the paints that I have used down in the description. I will also add a link for the um, Frontline Wargaming World War II Facebook group. Um, they helped me a bit with my paint scheme and a lot of other questions that I had. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link to them. If you have any comments or suggestions or uh, anything else, leave it in the comment section below and I see you on Sunday. Mm -hmm.